We'll do a backup plan for Sunday. If it doesn't happen Saturday, we'll do the exact same time on Sunday. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because high winds or thunderstorms or anything yeah. like that. And yeah, the biggest things that'll keep us from going obviously is the 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 storms. Um, clouds can be a factor. Um, if it's you know if it's partly cloudy, it's it's not an issue. Um, FAA doesn't like it when you're punching clouds as a ultralight aircraft, which is what I'll technically be considered. Considered then. <laughs> um, you know things like that. Uh, wind, you know, 20 miles an hour probably going to max out there. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's stiff. I mean, the winds today are are pretty stiff. Yeah, Ten to yeah, twenty. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. And you gotta you gotta try to imagine a six foot balloon. How much wind one of those is gonna catch? And if you've got a hundred of them stacked up above your head, I mean, I'll end up out in the middle of Mille Lacs Lake if. Oh boy. If the winds, t- <laughs> you know, too strong. Well, that'll be a soft landing. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not necessarily. Aim for a <laughs> boat, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Aim for a fish. Yeah. All right. No, honestly, are you a little nervous about this? You know what? I'm I'm 100% not nervous about the jump. You aren't. My only nerves are about not making my fundraising goal. I want to be able to make that $13,000 for Special Olympics. I'm confident enough in my skills. I've done enough research. I've got um, my friend Pablo Perizzoli is coming in from Florida to do, you know, to handle all my gear and do all my gear checks and rigging for me. Like I said, I've got Kent and uh, Mark coming in from Oregon to take care of all the balloons. Um, we've got a volunteer meeting happening on Friday to kind of get everybody squared away on how to inflate the balloons mm-hmm. properly so they don't overinflate them and they start popping. Um, I just all of that stuff is is really really dialed in. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm 100 percent confident about the about the event and the jump and it's I th- I think it's going to be pretty amazing. I th- it's going to be something that most people will probably never ever see again. Wow. Once in a lifetime type of opportunity. Okay, well I'm nervous for you. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you and you and my wife. You and my wife both. Wow. Now I have friends that have skydived for years and years. They're all very mm-hmm. experienced. They most of them have the suits you're talking right. about, and they also have the you're not you're not diving with a or you're not falling with a parachute. You probably have the controllable parasail you it's 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 technically considered a, a parachute it's um it's not the old school round canopies that you used to see in the right. old world war ii videos and stuff like that mm-hmm. it's it's Square? as close as yeah it's as close as you can get to being a cloth airplane wing right i mean when an mm-hmm. airplane comes into land and you drop the flaps and you start to slow down when you land up up this kind of parachute it's the same thing you pull down on your brake toggles the rear of the canopy starts to get lower and it slows you down and makes your landing nice and soft and you're able to walk right out of it. So when we see the guys at major sporting events land right right on home plate or exactly. whatever, that's because they can control it that well and that's what you'll be jumping out Exactly. With. And, and it's funny that you bring up like a baseball game. I, I actually had an opportunity to uh, last week, to a uh, week before last, to jump into a Lunkers game. Um, I got to dive in and deliver the game ball and throw out the first pitch to kind of promote the event. Cool. And uh, my practice run uh, I was on Monday, and I came in, and my f- very first step I took was right on the pitcher's mound. So I landed right on the pitcher's mound the first try. Well, then the night of the event, it was it was bad weather. Oh. And as we were in the airplane, we had lightning on one side of us and rain on the other side, and we were debating on whether or not we were even going to do it. And uh, by the time I got out and got down, the wind was blowing a completely different direction. And I didn't want to drift out over the crowd, so I ended up just kind of sliding down the third baseline. And I just missed the pitcher's mound. I just oh. over the top of it, and by the time I was done running, I was standing on first base. Man. So it's there. There, you have ultimate control with with these parachutes. I mean, you can yeah. put them down wherever you want to. Yeah. So. Wow. So you're planning on landing pretty close to Paul Bunyan Land again. Knock on wood. If yeah. absolutely the weather, yeah. I'd love is, to. Yeah. I'd okay. love to. You know, that would that would be the ultimate is for people to see me actually take off and come back down. Um, if that doesn't happen, I do have a, a chase crew set up, guys in a, in a vehicle that are going to be, you know, kind of following me whichever way I go. Mm-hmm. So, okay. well. wow. <laughs> well, this is a very interesting fundraiser you've dreamed up, Jarrett. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I think it's going to be, I think it's just going to be something else. It's going to be something people will remember for a long, long time. So just roughly, if you have an estimate, maybe you don't, but, you know, once you are cut loose and you get up to 13,000 feet, and you, how, about how long are you expecting the whole flight from takeoff to landing I, to I think be? It's, I think it's going to be pretty fast. Um, when Kent and Mark did their last flight, they use a completely different style of, of contraption. I mean, they have, it, it looks like a spaceship. Mm-hmm. They've got um, a, a chase lawn chair that they sit in. They've got GPS. They've got a radio. They've got water ballast. They carry around with their body weight. They're carrying around 600 pounds of stuff. Mm. Well, when they do it, they're, they're using about 680 pounds of lift. Well, I'm not using a chair or anything. I'm just hooking straight up to my skydiving rig. Me, with all my gear, I'll probably max out at about 220 pounds. 
and I'll be using 400 pounds of lift. So I'll be using 100 extra pounds of lift okay, so than so they are. So you'll go up pretty you'll fast. They're, we're thinking, we're estimating I'm going to go somewhere between 500 and 1,000 feet a minute. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, that is fast. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I could be up there as, as quick as... You'll be chewing gum. Twenty five right? minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chewing yeah. gum because you know, they tell you the airplane. After after doing this many after doing this many skydives, your ears don't even they don't even start yeah. to pop until you're over huh? seven, eight thousand feet. Yeah, it's wow. more on the way down than anything. My God. Okay. <laughs> so wow. this is gonna be neat. Well, good luck to you and that that you're doing this for Special Olympics is totally uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So Thank good you. luck. I hope you do reach your goal. Thanks. Yeah. And uh, again, let's remind uh, folks can go to fallingforacause.com, yep. and that'll take them to a site where they can make a contribution ahead of time. Absolutely. Yeah. Or obviously be there at Paul Bunyan Land. Six to... miles east of Brainerd on Highway State Highway 18. Yeah. Uh, gates open at 10, and I take off at noon. And those that come in. Well, uh, again, the dollars that you use to come in the gates even are, right. are going way, to yeah. the cause. Yep. And you said there's raffle tickets and fun things that will be going on, yep. obviously. So. Exactly. Okay. Wow. Well, good luck. Thank you. I, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Saturday weather permitting. Sunday is the backup day. Mm-hmm. Either way, for a Special Olympics, again, I say this is just phenomenal. Jared, we wish you best of luck. Thank you so much. Have fun. Yeah. I will. All right. <laughs> Jared McKinney is our guest. He is the skydiver doing the... Incredible uh, stunt, if you will, for falling Special for Olympics. Yeah. yeah, again, fallingforacause.com. Go to that website and you'll find out more. I'm Ken Thomas, along with Tess Taylor, and that is today's edition of Community Focus.